Hello, coolers, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest updates. We start with Frankie de Jong, as it has been reported that Xavi has asked Barcelona to block all offers for the untouchable 85 million euro rated midfielder. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then to conclude this episode, talking about Bernardo Silva, that Barca have been showing interest for a long time. It has been reported that Barca no longer considering signing the 80 million euro rated Manchester City superstar. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. After losing his starting place to Gavi in midfield, Frankie de Jong was also close to leaving Barcelona in the summer with Manchester United ready to offer 85 million euros for the Dutchman's services. However, the move failed to go through as de Jong refused to relieve the Catalan capital. He has always been open about his desire to succeed at Barcelona and was not going to leave in search for other pastures this early in his tenure. His situation seems to have taken a complete U-turn in recent months, as reports report, as sport reports that he is now untouchable and the club, at the club on Javi's demands. The coach has asked the administration to not listen to any offers for Frankie Dio. Further, Barca will not ask the player to reduce his salary either after months of trying and failing at that position. The midfielder is coming off an impressive World Cup tenure with the Netherlands. The Orangies reached the quarterfinals of the tournament before being eliminated you know, at the hands of eventual winners Argentina. Recent reports have stated that Manchester United have made some very fresh contact with Frankie de Jong, but realized that a general move will be impossible. That said, de Jong is happy with life at Barcelona amid the transfer rumors and is only considering his place at the Camp Nou. Fabrizio Romano has also stated that Chelsea were interested apart from Man United, but the situation has not changed for the player. In the past, reports have claimed that Barcelona will begin talks with the Dutchman over a new contract, albeit with a reduced salary. It remains to be seen if the young accepts the revised wages offered to him or leaves Barcelona to maintain or even increase his salary. How things have changed for Frankie de Jong, with uh, last summer being um, you know, one of the worst summers for Frankie de Jong as he was close to leaving the club. Had it not been that Frankie de Jong was so defiant and so, you know, so insistent about his, uh, his stay at Barca, Barca could have already got rid of him ever since. But the player really loved the club and many fans were baffled by the way Barca were trying to push him out. A player with so much quality, so much talent, and how on earth did that happen? Barcelona has been suffering a lot financially. Laporta wants to get rid of him because he knows that Frankie de Jong is the most valued um, player in the club. That if we sell, we can bring in some handsome amount of money by true transfer fees, which is about 80 million at least for Frankie de Jong, which will help the club's finances. So the, it was more of a financial point of view, the reason for selling Frankie de Jong more than a sporting point of view. Because when we look at the fact that what Frankie de Jong brings to the field is just so good. And definitely it was really shocking and many fans were so disappointed that Barca were really pushing to, you know, to sell Frankie de Jong. But fortunately for us, Frankie de Jong did not depart, you know, no matter the offer that United had already made to Barca and they were waiting now on the decision of the player. But unfortunately for, for United, it did not go through for them. And from the look of things, Frankie de Jong will stay at Barca for even a very long time now. Because according to this report, manager Xavi have told Barca that, look, you guys should reject all the offers that come for Frankie because he's, he's just so good. He's so good. He's so indispensable. And... Definitely, I think Frankie de Jong is one of the best midfielders that we have right now. And I think Javi is making the right decision to tell the club that nothing should be done when it comes to selling Frankie de Jong. Because we can see what he has been bringing to the table for Barca. Especially just before the World Cup, he has been playing about, in fact, all the games. The recent games, Frankie de Jong has been starting all and he is always one of the best players on the pitch. So Javi is very impressed with the player and definitely... What a change of fortunes. Recently, we, we heard about United still making some, um, you know, some offer. Um, that um, Eric Ten Hag still wants a player. 
you know, his former player at Ajax. But now, if this report is to be believed, then I think United are just throwing water behind the Ducks back because nothing is going to happen when it comes to acquiring the player. So it's still a very long time to go, which I definitely think that the player will stay at Barcelona for a very long time. He's happy at the club, except that the president and the board try to, you know, bring in some kind of offers to reduce his salary and stuff like that that may make him to be angry. But I hope that that, um, that should not reach the level. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, after having pursued his signing for the last two summer transfer windows, Barcelona have decided to cool off their interest in Manchester City midfield superstar Bernardo Silva. This claim comes from Sport, who stated that the Blaugrana have decided to move on from the Portuguese international as a target to bolster their midfield department. Barca's administration for Silva, admiration for Silva is no big secret. The Catalans made an attempt to sign him in the summer of 2021 and the most recent transfer window as well. However, financial circumstances prevented the deal from happening on both occasions. But it was suggested that the Catalans would again go for Silva next summer as Javi saw the former Benfica and Monaco man as the final piece of his puzzle for his midfield unit. However, that does not appear to be the case any longer as Barcelona have reportedly decided to call off the pursuit of Silva. The report suggests that there were occasions, you know, several occasions behind the La Liga leader's decision to no longer seek the signing of the Manchester City superstar. For starters, his age is seen as a hindrance as Silva is turning 30 and 29 when the next season starts. On top of that, City's demands for the midfielder could be an issue for Barca given the financial situation. It has been suggested that Manchester City would hold for at least 80 million euro as the starting price for Silva, which would be a major problem despite the Portuguese ace's desire to move to Spotify Camp Nou. Furthermore, Pedro and Gavi have developed, have developed so well, you know, very well and uh, have consolidated their positions as the future of the Barca midfield unit. And with Frankie de Jong thriving again and being seen as an untouchable by Xavi, the Catalans will focus on bolstering other positions on the pitch. There is an urgent need to upgrade the right-back slot, while Barcelona will also need to sign a replacement for Sergio Busquets, with Martin Zubimendi's um, Xavi's desired option for the pivot position, set to cost about 60 million euros. It is easy to understand why the club will no longer consider a move for Bernardo Silva. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.